What is good, Cycle Storm fans? I am Brent Cook, and today we're playing Popper. Obviously, we're playing my favorite Popper deck, Cycle Storm. I uploaded a video of this deck about a month ago that you can check out in the card above, where we played a list that was similar to this. It was preparing for post double masters with Monastery Swift Spear and how we would, you know, prepare for the burn matchup. Well, Burn is certainly a deck that can play Monastery Swift Spear, but the real deck that gained was the Mono Red Prowess or Mono Red Blitz deck, as some people call it. It's the deck that has Kiln Fiend in it, Festival Crasher, and the real goal is to just cast spells into your Prowess creatures and then swing for lethal with a Teamer Battle Rage, Mutagenic Growth, a whole bunch of cards like that. So that actually ended up being the top dog. And we're making some changes to our deck to adjust to that you know, new powerhouse in the metagame. The Mono Red Blitz deck is actually 15% of the metagame, according to MTG Goldfish, and it's the most popular deck in the format. So we do have some changes in the sideboard, and we'll get to that, but first we're going to talk about some main deck changes. So the first thing you'll notice is that there's actually one less land. Playing 12 lands when you don't have any tap lands, I've noticed you sometimes flood out a little bit. So we're going to today to try to go down to 11 and go up a Lotus Petal. So by adding in a Lotus Petal, we do get that extra mana source still, but we get a colored source for the hottest ploy mid-combo or a repository scob or mystical teachings. So mid-combo, we're going to be a little bit more effective. Pre-combo, we might see an, an extra mulligan here or there with the difference between 12 and 11 lands. So there's pros and cons of each, but I've been flooding a lot with 12 lands, so I, I want to try 11. If it's terrible, I can always go back. So that's the first change. The second change is adding in a second copy of Repository Scob alongside two teachings. Every time in the past that I've played two of these each, I've loved it. The problem is that when we shifted to the all untapped mana base, we also increased the Dehada's ploy. We had to play two of these. So going up a ploy, we had to cut the second copy of Scob. We also added in an extra creature. So something had to give in order to make all of this happen. So you might notice here that I'm only playing three copies of Cabal Ritual. That's because mid-combo, Repository Scob getting back songs is actually better than a Cabal Ritual. So you could go down a Dark Ritual, but that means that you're slightly worse setting up the combo. So, I don't know. Uh, you could play three Dark Ritual if you want. Three Cabal Rituals also acceptable. But basically, this Scob provides extra consistency with songs of the dam but also reaping the graves and i've always loved two copies of scob so i think that this is going to be just fine those are the main deck changes in the sideboard we've cut the third copy of repeal i never liked boarding in all three anyway so i think this is a fine change we still have four copies of dress with all of our untapped black mana sources big fan of that hit those relic of progenesis before they ever even hit the table it will be great and then we still have three copies of Fairy Macabre, not only for the Mirror, but also the Goblin combo deck, sometimes known as Mogwarts. Fairy Macabre is very powerful there. The big change today is Snuff Out. This card is free to play if you have a basic swamp. Well, I, I shouldn't say a basic swamp. If you control a swamp, it could be non-basic. But we have five swamps that you can get with Ash Barons, so you're pretty likely to find it in this deck. So your opponent plays a Kiln Fiend on turn two, and then on their turn they go Mutagenic Growth, Mutagenic Growth, Teamer Battle Rage, Swing for Lethal. You simply pay four life with Snuff Out and send that creature back to the Shadow Realm. That's the idea with Snuff Out here. Somebody in the comment section, I want to say a month ago, maybe it was the video before then, was like, why aren't you playing Snuff Out if you're playing all these basic swamps? Which is a very fair question. At the time, I didn't see the Blitz deck being this powerhouse deck that it is. And I even tweeted out something I'm like, yeah, Snuff Out seems brilliant, but what deck would I actually want this against? Against the Mono White deck that was like 0.5% of the metagame? It didn't make sense. But now that there's a deck that's 15% of the metagame, Snuff Out, I don't know. It, it's just a no-brainer to me. So we're trying four copies today. You could play three. I think three is fine. In the previous video, I ran three Hydro Blast. So why aren't we running Hydroblast? Well, the Mono Red Prowess deck boards in three to four copies of Pyroblast against us because we're a blue deck. So they can hit our scobs, our mystical teachings, all that good stuff. So you're making your deck a little bit worse and you're playing into what their deck does best in their post-board plan. All right, well, what if you don't play Hydroblast then? Well, what if you play Darkness? 
that deck also has multiple copies of Flaring Pain that they don't even have to hold open two mana for because they're a Faithless Looting deck. So they can discard the Flaring Pain to Faithless Looting and just hold it open that way. I don't love Darkness as an effect. So instead, I'd rather just play something like Snuff Out where on turn two, you can tap out and still have a card up. And that's really interesting to me because you're not forced to stop being proactive. There is a downside here. And that downside is the Apostle's Blessing, which is one in a Phyrexian white mana. Target creature gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. That is a card that most opponents will board out against us, just because it doesn't make a lot of sense in the matchup. So we shouldn't have to worry about that for at least game two. If they decide to board it back in, that's another you know, element of the matchup. That said, your opponent's forced to make a decision between do I go for it or do I wait until I have Apostle's Blessing back up? which is a really, really tough decision in most situations because we're always representing having it, but we never have to show that we have it, which is a huge deal. So they have to choose, like, will my opponent kill me or do they have the removal spell? And it puts them in a tough spot. So Snuff Out does wonders. So Hydro Blast, Snuff Out, Darkness, those are all reasonable options. I think, personally, that Snuff Out is the best one. So burn is still a deck in the metagame according to goldfish it's the fourth most popular deck as i record this video i only have a ploy in the cyborg for that matchup my current plan is you either board out one street wraith or one architects i found that i didn't actually love hydroblast in the matchup when i was testing it i think that you're better off just being the faster combo deck with a little bit of extra life gain with the dahada's ploy that's my two cents there uh but that's the deck tech i hope you enjoyed it I just want to try snuff out. So I'm so confident in this decision that I've purchased the four snuff outs on Magic Online. I'm not renting these. These I went and bought because I own the rest of this deck on Magic Online. And I don't want to have to rent snuff out just for this. But on top of that, I've started to buy Japanese foil copies for my paper deck. I am confident in this decision. I know that when I make deck changes, sometimes people complain about the price in the comment section. It's tough because I am looking to create the best combo deck possible at all times. That's what I'm looking to do. I'm looking to optimize for maximum win percentage. And some of you really care about budget constraints, which is perfectly acceptable. I hear you and I understand. So you don't want to buy cards like Lotus Petal or Darkness or Snuff Out. I get it. But these are the best cards for winning, and that's what I'm trying to do here. So if you want to play alternatives to those, Hydro Blast is fine. You can play Chromatic Spheres or Chromatic Stars, whatever you want to do. But I think you just have to accept that your deck is going to be a little bit worse. Uh, I just wanted to get that out of the way because people always ask in the comment section about cheaper options. That's what I have to say about it. All right, enough of this. Let's head on over to match number one. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicstorm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to match number one. We're on the draw. We've opened up a hand with Street Wraith, Songs of the Damned, and Reaping the Graves. If we had a land, this hand would be bananas. So it's worth noting that none of these cards were cards that were replaced a land, so we're, that didn't make an influence here. So we have to mulligan to six. This could have been the land. Um... Do we think that our five gives us better odds? I'm going to live dangerously here. I'm going to bottom the repository scob and try to hit the land off the cycling street wraith. All right, so it looks like it could be the prowess deck already. Rift Bolt, so it's burn. All right, so not the matchup where you want to lean on street wraiths. Oh, no. So I could go dark ritual cycle. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to pass for now. I'll take three off the Rift Bolt, going to 13. Suspended another Rift Bolt. Needle drop him at 12. Draw. Teachings. So it's worth noting that I could be dead on my next on their turn. 
So I'm at 12. The Rift Bolt will put me to 9. So Red Source Triple Bolt will do it, or Bolt Bolt Fire Blast will do it. So I think I'm supposed to try to go here, but I don't really have a whole lot in the tank. Like, this is pretty unlikely to win, I think. Dark Ritual. Cycle. Okay, so this is going to put us to uh, 10. So if I can hit a land here, I can then cast the Cabal Ritual, which would be huge. That's also really good. Okay. Um, I think we're supposed to cycle the creature. Play songs. Cycle. Cycle. Okay, we're going. This is a turn two that we're going for here with no land yet. Okay. Reaping the Graves. This is going to be for six. So if I get back to triple Street Wraith, I could die to a Fire Blast. Wraith. Wraith. I don't think I'm going to return the third one. As much as I want to, I think it's just too risky. Cycle. Again, down to six. We get a land. We need a blue source, though. There we go. So at the bare minimum, we can gain a ton of life with ploy. Uh, I'm just going to return everything for now. Play the pedal. Let's cycle Stinger. Another Lotus Petal. Cycle the Healer. What's the songs count? Seven. That's not that high. Um, let's cycle this. So I can play Scob here, but I don't think it's worth it. Because I can't gain life. That's the downside. So instead I'm going to cycle the Vantasaur, I think. It's actually a pretty interesting decision. I can stop right now and keep a Lotus Petal, or I can cycle one more. And I think I'd rather try to cycle. We get another Petal. Uh, I guess I don't need to play the Petal yet. I can just cast the Boy to gain a bunch of life. But I think the land is better here. Let's discard... Teachings? I think that's the move. All right, we can pass the turn now. A solid 20 life. Back to 17, opponent has five cards in hand. Swift Spear, Needle Drop. Okay. Lava Spike. You got it, I'm at 10 already. They could kill me next turn. Question is, do I upkeep cycle the Ash Barons here? It gets the island out of my deck that I really want, but our opponent could just kill us. So they have two cards in hand, and they can go up to three. And I'm at ten. I feel like ten isn't that big of a stretch. Uh, so I play a land. I, I guess I, I should just draw. And I drew the island anyway. All right, pass the turn. Uh, so I have Jumpstart to Hottest Ploy available. So realistically, I'm at 12 life. Taking Chain Lightning, I'm at 7. Needle Drop was a really good one here. So this would put me to 1. I mean, if their last card's Fire Blast, I can't beat that anyway. So I guess the question here is, do I jumpstart the ploy, or do I cycle trying to hit a Dark Ritual? Because I think Dark Ritual actually wins this. Let's... I'm going to take the Ritual line, I think. Cycle the Stinger. Or the Broken Lands. Draw. Oh boy. So... 
So we have not drawn a ritual. I could jumpstart the ploy right now. Or I can just cycle twice off these creatures. And the creatures actually give me one extra cycle to look for our songs, but I still need two. So we just have to try to find a ritual here. Not looking good. So if I jump start, I would go to four. So our opponent would have to have two lands in hand. They didn't play a land last turn. 30 cards in deck. I've already played a land. I think you're supposed to cycle. Okay. Dark Ritual. So Ritual there was actually not good enough because I can't play Scob with Mana Floating. So I'm going to cycle the Horror Teachings. We can jumpstart the ploy, but I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. Um, let's get rid of the Scob, I guess. Now we have to discard. We have to hope that our opponent's hand is just literally nothing. Okay. That's six. Exact damage. Ah, oh. That was a close one. Okay, a little bit of a bummer, but that was a close one. Let's bring in play number three. We're also on the play for game two, which is pretty huge. I think you're supposed to board out a copy of Scob. The reason that you board out a copy of Repository Scob here is that it's just a really good target to fizzle us with Lightning Bolt, and we're not trying to have that happen. Yeah, this is fine. We'll keep this. Pop out the graveyards. Maybe I should have done that in game one. We'll blame that for the loss, right? Definitely. Okay, I'm just going to be lazy and main phase this. Cycle and pass. Mountain. Epicure. Draw. Cycle. Let's try hitting that land. Nope. Pass the turn. Manamorpho. So they're like a weird hybrid list. Okay. So they're in for three. I'm at 11 already. Jeez. There's the land. Problem is, I could be dead already. They swing for three. I mean, if they have me, they have me. I'm not going to blow a Songs of the Damned here. Grab an island. And I'll pass the turn. Like, you could cast songs there, and then play ploy for a little bit of... I just don't think it's worth it. We're at eight. You have four cards in hand. I'm at seven, so Bolt Fire Blast does it. Okay, so now it has to be Fire Blast Burn Spell. Cycle Vantasaur. Dark Ritual. Okay, draw. Here we go. Cycle. Cycle. Songs of the Damned. Cycle. Again. Let's try playing a ploy here. Like, I'm pretty sure this is Pyroblast, but let's find out. No, it wasn't Pyroblast, huh? Discard the Scob. Play Cabal Ritual. Let's go search out the other uh, blue source. We'll ploy again. Increase our storm a little bit. So now it's, do you keep Cabal Ritual or do you keep the blue source for Scob? Slash, um... Boys. Tough call. I'm going to keep the extra black source, I think. Wall ritual. Songs of the damned. We're gonna hold control and put the songs on the stack and then cast reaping. So the goal by doing this is that by the time the songs is resolved, 
we want to be making more than nine mana. Okay. I'm just being lazy and returning some of these. I guess what really matters is... So now we start cycling. And we just want to keep cycling until we can't anymore with the songs on the stack. Swamp. Something like Dark Ritual would be really nice here, just because it makes a little bit of extra mana. Another Street Wraith, okay. That is ploy number three. Another Songs. We're going to keep cycling. Keep cycling. We've already broken even on nine, so now we're at ten. This will do eleven. Twelve. So we got a free Dark Ritual out of this trick. That which is why we did it. So we just got three free black mana. 24 cards in deck. Let's pull out another basic. Cycle. Go to 10. Keep cycling. Okay. Teachings. Songs of the Dam for 16 and Reaping the Graves. Just return everything. Well, everything that I could, I guess. All right, start cycling again. We're at 10 life, so we can't just throw it away recklessly here. 12 minutes on clock. There's a blue source. Dark Ritual. There's the Celebrant. So this should be pretty easy now. Play another ploy, discard a land. All right, cycle. Let's um, play scob. See if we can beat out a removal. Nope. Okay, get back Songs of the Damned. And this makes 13 at the moment. That's probably fine. Let's start making red. Red, red. Stinger, Stinger, and Stinger. Start cycling. Ten cards left. Okay, and just so you know, you don't, you don't have to draw the card off these triggers. You can leave the draw trigger on the stack if you want. And our opponent conceded. Okay, so now we're going to game three versus this mono red blitz hybrid it doesn't have kiln fiend or the festival crasher so i don't think it's worth having snuff out uh, i think we still just want to lean on our dahada's ploys we're looking for a good hand on the draw i mean we almost had a turn two that one game just wasn't quite good enough i think that this is acceptable when i keeping seven we will as well Turn one, Voldaren Epicure, draw. I think we just want to go get our island. Mountain. And another Voldaren Epicure. That's a Lava Spike. And I'm going to 13. I'm sorry, 14. This deck is fast. Draw. Good play out a healer here. Insert cycling to gain life. Makes them waste a burn spell on a creature. I don't hate that. Let's play our healer. Cycle the Vantasaur. That's the turn. There I have four cards in hand. Manamorphose. They use a blood token to get rid of an extra mountain. And another Manamorphose. Okay. They bolt me. Skewer the... Okay, either way, that soaked up three damage. They have one card in hand, and I'm at ten. This was a good draw. Let's play the ploy right now. Discard the Vantasaur. Only one life there, but... 
It's fine. We gained a card. Well, not really. It's draw two, discard one. You break even. But we gained a life. We filtered. It's fine. We're at nine. They have two cards. Needle drop. D2 Lava Runner. Punished by not doing anything pre-combat. Cycle. Ploy number three. We're a little clogged on those. Uh, let's try to jumpstart this ploy. There we go. Discard Stinger. Pass the turn. So they have four damage on the board. Yeah, I'm at eight. They have four on board. Is this it? I would hate it if it was. Ah. Oh. That's a bummer. Okay, we, we fell just short. Unfortunate. Being on the draw, sometimes it happens. I still think that ploy is the, where I want to be in this matchup. Some of you in our Discord, if you're a member of the Storm Discord, that link is in the description below, are still pretty adamant about running Gnaw to the Bone. I am off Gnaw. I am not a big fan of it in this matchup. So what I found was... You have to use, often use your Ash Barons to go get Basic Forest, and then you end up time walking yourself over and over to gain 6 life, to gain 8 life. Mid combo, it's absolutely insane. Like, if you're able to play it in the middle of a combo turn, you gain 30 life or whatever, it ends up being really good. But there's a lot of games where it just ends up being kind of terrible, and you're forced to fetch an off color land. And I, I'm just, I think I still want to just be on ploys and you know achieve what our deck is looking to do because ploy helps you with your engine like your combo stuff like it, it's part of the game plan like it filters it does all the stuff that we're looking to do or not to the bone adds inconsistency to our deck so if you want to play that that's fine i am also okay losing matches like this where we were on the draw both games that we lost and they were pretty close like our opponent won with exact damage both games one and three if i got to untap here i think i probably win that not the end of the world we're zero and one stick around and watch the next four with card order, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Okay, let's bounce back from that loss to match number one. We're on the draw. I'm going to keep this. I think this hand is actually pretty great. I'm also, uh, I know that we lost the first round, and I'm not trying to, like, pretend that we didn't. But we had a couple games where we, it was closer than it should have been. Like, I missed my land drop on turn one. We almost had a turn two. And then even that last game, we did a lot to stay in that game. We just needed one more on tap stop or maybe one better draw somewhere in there. I think it was actually a fine game. Okay, past the turn. Likely facing Affinity here. It could be the Just Sky Wildfire deck as well, but usually these lands mean Affinity. Yep. And by these lands, I meant the Indestructible Artifact lands, not the Great Furnace. All right, cycle the Street Wraiths. Let's try to hit that land. Boom. Cycle. All right, so we have land three already. I love the smoothness of always playing on tap lands. It's amazing. Big fan. Four creatures in graveyard already. It's only turn two for us. And they're not deploying any threats here. Let's cycle this. So they could have like Metallic Rebuke up or even Spell Pierce. All right, our Street Rate cycle is finally resolved. We drew land four. I'm tempted to just hold up this teachings and then try to cycle it on their end or cast it on their end step. Or if they try to like blast us here, I could cast the teachings as well. Okay, so now it's our opponent's turn. And they're just passing. 
All right. Well, if you're not going to do anything, I won't. Player land and pass. You might be thinking, why not cycle the Ash Barons to go get the basic? If I don't have to sacrifice the Lotus Petal, I'd rather not. And here I can just, you know, cast my Mystical Teachings the old-fashioned way. Okay, they're just going to pass again. I am not going to play into your tricks. Grab the island. Draw. Another Wraith. We can just pass here. Deadly Dispute. We can pay for a Spell Pierce here, so I'm going to cast the Teachings. Is your Spell Pierce worth a Lotus Petal? That's the question. Oh, it's a Metallic Rebuke. Okay. Um, let's cycle the Street Wraith. Um, I think we're going to get a little bit of value out of this. Cycle. All right, we're going to pay. Go get Reaping the Graves. And return some creatures. We're at 14. I don't want to go too low and then die to burn spells. That is a concern that I have. Let's cycle this Architects. Okay. Move to discard. Cure the Petal and the Celebrant. We can always get Blood Celebrant back later. We don't need it right now. They have seven cards. Mirror Enforcer, yep. Thought Cast. All right, Chromatic Star. And they're passing. I have a feeling that this is the build that plays counter target spell, but I could be wrong. So I think I'm going to put myself dead to Gav Blast if they have it. Let's try this Cabal Ritual. Okay, so that resolved. Cycle. Land for turn. So there's one basic left in the deck. Let's cycle this Architects. I like this. That's a good pickup. Cycle. All right, let's lose some life. Cycle. See if they try to gav blast me out here. Nope. Dark Ritual. Cycle this. Dark Ritual. Cycle. And again. Cycle. Let's try songs. Is this the spot? Let's try to respond. Okay, so we will pay for Metallic Rebuke. Does this resolve? It looks like it does. Flashback the teachings. Grab Reaping the Graves. Play a Lotus Petal. And let's return some friends. I don't know why I... Uh, didn't click on the Blood Celebrant there. That was a slight mistake. So we're returning everyone other than the Street Rates right now, just because I, I think life is an, a resource here that I need to be wary of or considerate of. I don't know, words, things. Let's sacrifice this for a white. We'll play the healer. Okay, less afraid now. Cycle. Scob gets back songs or reaping here, but let's cycle see if we can find a little bit more info. Play out the pedal. I could play this right now, but I think it's actually a trap because mana is a choke point and we're not actually ready to win the game yet. Cycle. Down to 20. 
Okay, keep cycling. Alright, so now we know that mana is our choke point and not cards. So I can play this repository scob in just a second to get back Songs of the Damned. Exploit. Grab these songs. Keep cycling. Songs. All right, 14. We'll play the scob. Exploit again. Get back songs. And our opponent's had enough. Okay, so now we can go to the next one. Affinity. They appear to be on a slightly more controlling build. I wonder if we really want the, the dresses here. I think we might. Take out one repository scob. Part of me wonders if we should try boarding out a blood celebrant and just relying on the lotus petals. It might be a big ass though. Alternatively, you could just board out a petal and keep the celebrant, which I think is probably a little bit safer. That brings us to 62. We can board out one cycler. And then I think we could probably get away with one ploy here. Let's try this. So we could have turn one horror if we rip a land off the top. If we draw a land, this hand is absolutely stacked. I think I'm going to risk it, just because we also have the straight wraith draw while being on the draw. It, I understand that this could really bite me in the butt, but I think it's worth the risk. Okay. Draw. Not a land. Cycle Street Wraith. Okay, that's fine. We'll go to cleanup. Get rid of Avantasaur. Seat into Icar Wellspring. You got it. Give me that swamp. All right. Pass. I think I'm going to discard the duress here, actually. Because if I rip a land, I want to be able to cycle a little bit. And obviously, this keep is biting me a little bit in the butt right now. But I'm hoping we get a window. Draw. Uh, I mean, it's something. Start cycling. Pass the turn. Deadly Dispute, you got it. Another frog. Bridge. Star, they have five cards in hand. Ouch. What? Oh no! Oh no! I accidentally tapped my Ash Barons. Oh, jeez. What are you going to do with me? First, I kept this hand, and now I don't know how to play Magic Online. Bear with me. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm at 12. Another Deadly Dispute. You got it. Four open mana, eight cards in hand. Frog Might. Draw. Another duress. Let's cycle. Killing me. Alright. I mean, it's my own fault. I kept the hand. Discard. We're going to six. Am I just dead? Do you have double blast? Draw. Cycle. Zero percent chance that this resolves. Okay, you got it. We can go to the next one. That was my... I shouldn't have kept. That was possibly too greedy. I was really caught in the allure of having creatures, duress, and reaping the graves. It should have been a mulligan. We'll do better. On the play. Okay. So our first turn is just going to be Ash Baron's Pass, and then we, I guess I can main phase just go get the Swamp. It doesn't matter. Bridge. We're going to play Duress on two, so that way if they have a Relic, we can discard it before they can cast it. 
Deadly Dispute, Munitions. Buy Deadly Dispute. I'm going to be lazy and just main phase this. Okay. Seat, star, you got it. And another star. Could just play the Horror of the Broken Lands here. Pretty risky. I think I'm just going to pass. I think casting the Horror is a big mistake. They play the land, Frogmite. Interesting that they didn't play Frogmite last turn. The munitions, you got it. Let's cycle. Another duress. Cycle. Okay, draw. Fire off this duress, see if they have anything good. Fire a blast. Okay. We need to find a payoff. So I'll take two down to 18. The bridge. They have one unknown and a vault of whispers. They also have this chromatic star that they can sacrifice to draw a card. So they're going to deal me one and draw a card instead. Cycle three wreath down to 15. There's our payoff. Cycle, see if I can draw something. Cycle. Hmm. I think I'm going to hold off. Two mana. Reckoner's Bargain. Sure thing. Land. And they're getting in. I'll go to 13. Draw for turn. Play to us. Two mana. Is this a deadly dispute? Reckoner's Bargain. Okay. So they increase my storm. I'm good with that. They have a Gav Blast and a Pyro Blast. All right. We'll leave the Pyro. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Play the Teachings. Go get a Songs of the Damned. Which only makes seven mana right now. It's not a lot. Reaping the Graves. Street Wreath first and then the rest. Cycle. Again. Going to nine. Cycle. Getting low on mana. Cycle. Want another Songs of the Damned. There we go. Again. All right, feeling a little bit better about this now. Cycle. Uh, let's pull the island out of the deck. Cycle this. Cycle the architects. Songs of the Damned. And then we can return the creature, play our island, Lotus Petal, Cabal Ritual, Cycle. Go to seven. Pedal. Flashback teachings. Go grab Reaping the Graves. Remember, this is going to have five floating after. Return two street rates. And then I think I'm going to leave the other one towards the bottom. I, I want to have the option of playing Blood Celebrant. Without needing to play... Um, a healer out and there's another songs already beautiful keep cycling okay i think i'm just going to cash in 15 black here and then return everything i also changed my mind i am going to play out a healer I was thinking about it. Healer is cheaper than playing a ploy. So this is probably just better. 
All right, we have 18 cards left. We have enough mana that we can play a stinger. It will be fine. Cycle. And our opponent's had enough. Good games opponent, and we are now one in one. No snuff outs yet. Let's see if we can get that mono red blitz matchup. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Match three, we're on the play. One cycler, a little bit awkward. We do have three lands. I mean, if we hit creatures, we could continue the chain. No reaping the graves. This is the awkward thing about having scob sometimes. Is this better than a six? Hmm. I'm going to keep it. We're an 11 land deck. I don't want to over mulligan. Maybe we'll have some draw steps here. We'll see how it goes. Part of the cards, I will draw creatures. We have 26 creatures in this list, which is more than average. Our opponent plays Voldaire and Epicure. So I'll take one here. I'm going to cycle this. Uh, I just confirmed my deck list. It is 26. I was thinking about it. I'm like... Is it actually higher than 26? Because I added in the scob, but no, it is still 26. Grab the island, pass the turn. So this is an aggressive matchup where not having those extra creatures could really bite me here. Cycle the Vantasaur. All right, we're going to 15. Boy. I'm just going to pass. Boy's not bad, though. A red black burn it is. Let's see if we can uh, get a little redemption for that first match. We'll take one down to 12. Another ash burn. So we're flooding here. Uh, we've drawn two lands in our 11 land deck after keeping three in our opener. Discard. The ash barons, I guess. I don't know if it really matters. Pass the turn. Maybe I should have kept the Ash Barons. I'm not sure. So it depends on what we want to do on our next turn. Because if we just go for a value turn with Ploy, I think it would have been better to keep the Ash Barons over the Swamp. I play a Tap Land. Fiery Temper with the Madness. So we'll take three here and then they'll attack for one. We're going to end up at nine. And they have four cards in hand. Yep. Draw. Another reaping. Let's go to seven. Songs of the Damned. Alright, so let's Dark Ritual. I'm going to jump start the ploy, discarding the Scob. Because it's an extra creature for Songs of the Damned. Discard a creature. We'll play off the pedal. Cycle. Cycle this as well. Songs. Ball Ritual. It's from six. We will play Reaping the Graves. Trying to win this turn. Return the Street Wraiths. I'm going to go all the way down to four with these Street rate cycles. I think mana is our choke point right now, and I don't want to... Um, uh, return cyclers that cost mana if I don't have to. Keep cycling. Okay, cycle again. I wonder if it's... That's uh, probably not. Let's just play the scob. We can exploit trigger. Return the songs. We get to cycle one more creature for an extra mana. Play songs for 10. So mana is still a choke point here. 
Dark Ritual Cycle. I'm at four, so these street rates aren't really that free anymore. First target will be Scob once again. I can return one street wraith. Okay, let's see if I can find another Songs of the Damned here. Boom! Getting lucky on me saying the card. It's twice so far in this league where I've said the card name and then immediately drawn it. Oh, baby. Now we just need to find a blue source. Dark Ritual. I mean, we don't even really need a blue source at this point. We do need the Blood Celebrant to eventually win the game, but... There's the ploy, so now if I draw Lotus Petal Life, is no longer an issue either. Ball Ritual. Cycle. You know what? I'm just going to cast these. I'm just going to resolve everything. We've won this game, I just need to hurry up and do it. Alright, let's uh, gain some life. Uh, I'm supposed to recycle some more until I hit the Blood Celebrant. Okay, so now we can play it for a red Stinger. Cycle the Vantasaur. Keep on cycling. Alright, Reaping to Return of All Friends. Okay. Trying to click as fast as I can here. Just keep cycling. I have 13 cards in deck, which is means that I have to play another Stinger at some point where... Yeah, it's really just that. I guess I could turn off my auto yields and then win the old-fashioned way with the trigger on the stack, but I'm lazy. I don't want to have to turn off my auto yields. All right, let's cast another Stinger. And there's the Blood Celebrant. Let's get our bloody little friend on the battlefield. I just loves blood. It's kind of weird, but whatever you're into. No judgments. Cycle. Okay, so that's going to be game number one over Black Red Burn. We kept kind of a bad hand and we had a turn four. This version's just fast. So once again, I think we want the ploy. We can take out... Hmm, I think Scob is slightly better against this version. So they have less instant speed burn. And on top of that, they sometimes have discard post board. So I, I do like Scob. Um, maybe the Architects. They also have like two Nile Spell Bombs. So you could board in the Repeals, which also have Blood Tokens. But I just don't think it's worth it. I, I'm just going to resubmit this. Hmm. A little bit risky. I'm going to try it. If you wanted to, you could sacrifice the Lotus Petal on the first turn to get the Swamp. But I'm not sure if that's what I should be doing or not. Bridge. Draw. Don't even need to make that decision now. How lovely. Let's just go grab our island. Boom. Pass the turn. Land two. Lightning bolt, and they're passing. Good deal. Okay, pass the turn. And they're going to pass the turn. We are the control deck here, I think. All right, no land three. Draw. Cycle. I wonder if I'm supposed to try to play ploy here. A little bit afraid of Pyroblast, but let's see what happens. The resolves. We'll discard the teachings, I think. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can hit land three. Nope. Pass the turn. And step burn spell. No end step burn spell. That's surprising. Ooh, they had the spell bomb. And they're immediately sacrificing it. Wow. Okay. That's a little bit easier on me. I don't even think that's that crippling. Like, we can easily come back from that. Cycle. Cycle. 
No land three. I think I'm actually going to keep the Celebrant around. We can discard a healer. Vampires, or what is that? Sovereign's Bite? Okay. There's another land. Let's go pick up a Swamp. I'm just going to pass here. I think I want to double cycle on the rents up. I thought about playing the Blood Celebrant. I'm off it. Galvanic Blaster 2. Okay, cycle. Cycle. Draw. Another reaping. We're a little bit late on mana is the concern right now. Let's try to cycle the Vantasaur. We have threshold, so Cabal Ritual. Let's cycle this. Play the ploy. That's what I wanted to see. Perfect. All right. Cabal Ritual. Play the Celebrant. Let's play the songs. And then we can play this Scob. Exploit. Pick up the songs again. Cast it for eight this time. Reaping the Graves. Getting back the Scob. And we're off to the races. I, th I believe we've got it from here. Let's just play it out make sure. Okay. Cycle. You might be wondering why I wasn't cycling with it on the stack, which like I normally do. The truth is, it just doesn't matter that much. Um, so I'm being a little bit lazy right now, but the optimal play would be to cycle with each Reaping the Grave trigger on the stack. Okay. Keep cycling. Good deal. We are now two and one, two left to go. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Match four, we're on the play. Keep, keep, keep. Swamp Pass. All right, so they're on Boros. Cycle. I do like my Boros matchup, but I also just really want to use these snuff outs in my board. Being a little bit greedy, I'm like, give me the best deck in the format. I want to cast snuff out. Can we make it happen? Pass. Our hand's a little bit clunky at the moment. This is the way. All right, we found land three. Just going to pass the turn here. On their end step, we can cycle Street Wraith and deploy. You have a synthesizer. Usually, these builds don't have prismatic strands, which is a matchup that you, or a card that you care about in the matchup. But it's usually not in this build. This is the Boros Bounce build, not the Boros Bully build, from what I can see. Yep. Seeker gets in. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. I'm just going to be lazy and cycle now. All right. Play the ploy. Discarded teachings. We found Reaping the Graves, but uh, we don't have that many creatures in the graveyard. Draw. Cycle. Another Reaping. I mean, I suppose I could try to do something here. Play this Cabal Ritual. Let's jumpstart the ploy. Discard the Ash Barons. Discard Teachings. Cycle the Stinger. Okay. Ball Ritual. Guess we're going for it. Party time. Select some creatures. 
Only five, not that many. Okay, so we have some creatures back in our hand. We'll cycle. Scob's a good pickup because we can get back these Songs of the Damned. So I could play Scob right now, get back Songs, but it would only make four, so it's not really worth it. Let's keep cycling. Lotus Petal. Keep cycling. There we go. Play our land for turn. Play the songs. Add blue. Scob. Exploit it. Return the songs. Songs again. Reaping the graves. I believe we've got it at this point. Click, click, click. Cycle. Actually, should I play the Stingers? Direct 24. I think it's actually a little bit risky to play Stinger. I mean, I should have thought about it first, but I, I think it, ultimately it's correct to not play them right now. We should just focus on making sure we don't fizzle. Cycle. Dark Ritual. Cycle again. Songs of the Damned. That's a good one. Those damn songs. Cycle. 22 cards. Songs again. 17 mana. Scob. Why was I only playing one of this card before? It's stupid. What was I thinking? I was playing one copy of that? And you all let me? Really, it's your own fault. You could have told me no. And in the comments, none of you did that. None of you told me, Brian, you're an idiot. You're only playing one scob. I blame you. Always good to blame the watcher. That's what all the YouTube people say, right? It's always the audience fault. Never the person clicking. Okay. Although I'm sure there will be some of you that think I'm an idiot for not playing Gnaw to the Bone. But I'm pretty sure that it's correct not to be playing that card right now. All right, we've got plenty of mana. We can now play out a Stinger and start winning the game. We're off to the races. Another Lotus Petal. That means we can sting twice as hard. All right, opponent concedes, and now we're off to game number two. Like I said, this is usually not the Flaring Pain build, so I'm not going to board in um, the Prismatic Strands build, so I'm not going to board in Flaring Pain. That can stay on our sideboard. Right, we are somewhat interested in two copies of Repeal to answer Relic. And I think we're supposed to board out a Lotus Petal and a Cycler. Let's try this. In between rounds, I was sort of working on a build that if you wanted to play Gnaw to the Bone, you could. I don't think it's right, but you could cut the fourth snuff out. You could cut the cyborg ploy, and you could cut the flaring pain. And that could give you forest plus two gnaw. But in my games, I found that two ploy plus two gnaw was a lot. At least in my experience. So, I don't know. I think if you want to be on gnaws, you should probably be on... An older build, I think, that is still playing Cycle Lands, maybe? I'm not sure. Not that you can't play at all on tap build, but you're incentivized to play two ploys and then two gnaws on the board. It just becomes really clunky on top of needing teachings and everything else. Fast start. Okay, so we're going to go to 19. Draw. Pass. And there's the relic. That's annoying. Interesting. So they're giving me a window here. I think we're supposed to try to capitalize on it. It's going to be tough because we're trying to force a turn three when we don't have any street rates or songs of the damned. But I think it's our window to try to win. Well, there's a street wraith. Okay, come on, deck. We have to get kind of lucky here to beat this relic. Good start. Cycle. 
Dark Ritual. Cycle. Okay, so that's six cards. Cycle. All right, so what I could do here is cycle one more time and then Cabal Ritual. But if I Cabal Ritual now, they can activate Relic and shut me off mana. So the, the decision is, do I want blue mana or do I want the extra two off Cabal Ritual? And I think I'd rather have the extra two off Cabal Ritual. All right, cycle. I'm not going to play the Swamp. It doesn't help me, so I'm not going to do it. Blue mana is what we want here. Going for a turn three through Relic of Progenitus at the moment. I didn't realize we were only getting back five there. Yikes. Cycle. Okay, that's good. Cycle. Need blue. Cycle again. That's a blue source. Let's go Thinner Island out. Okay. Well, that was good. Cycle this. Cycle the Stinger. And the Horror. And now I'm forced into playing the songs. Scob. Exploit. Pick up Songs of the Damned. Cast it. And I think here we're supposed to teachings for another songs. Okay. Just want to make sure that we don't fizzle. I believe we've got it at this point. Return the Street Wraith first. Sex fast. The all basic build, you're just way more likely to turn three. Cycle Street Wraith. Which is also part of the reason that I don't think you necessarily need to be playing stuff like Gnaw versus Burn. I think that first round wasn't necessarily the best indicator of the matchup. Alright, so we've drawn both Repeal. Go to 6. Just keep cycling. Dark Ritual. Gotta get that cardio in. Again, 24 cards left. Cabal Ritual, Cycle, and another Scob. So we're going to sack for blue, play Scob, Exploit. Where are you, Songs of the Damned? Cast it. Reaping the Graves. 22 cards left in deck. Returning everything. Cycle this Architects. Keep cycling. There's a ploy. And another ploy. I'm not cycling the street rates because a couple times in my life I've been too busy narrating. And I accidentally cycle a Street Wraith and kill myself, so I'm avoiding that at the moment. Okay. What do we have down here? Two more Street Wraiths. All right. So we have 13 cards left. In those 13 somewhere is a um, Blood Celebrant. There's a Lotus Petal. All right. So I'm going to cast the Petal, and then I'm going to play this Ploy, because it's going to gain a ton of life, and I won't have to worry about the Street Wraith life loss anymore. And it digs me a little bit deeper towards that celebrant. Okay. There's the celebrant. Dark ritual. I'm gonna turn off auto yields. Make a blue, play a scob. Exploit. Get back Songs of the Damned. Do you remember a time before uh, Repository Scob? I do, and those were dark days. Like, this game alone, I've played, like, eight Songs of the Damned. I fear going back to days where we only have four songs and, like, run out of mana again. It sounds miserable. 
Okay. Play a stinger. And another stinger. And another stinger. And our opponent is conceded. All right, so we've bounced back to three and one. There's one more match left. Can we cast the snuff out? Let's find out. The best legacy podcast? That would be Eternal Glory featuring myself, Bryant Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We're available on all major podcast platforms and YouTube. The fifth and final round, we are on the play with Cycle Storm. Keep. Okay, so we're gonna play Swamp, and I'm just gonna be lazy in main phase cycle. You can't stop me. Pass the turn. Alright, there's a chance we got my wish. Mountain and a Swiss Spear. Alright, cycle this healer. No land. I'm just going to pass. Mountain. They're getting in. I'm at 18. Okay. Let's go to 16. Uh-oh. If they're on burn, cycling this feels really bad. Go to 14. Mm, let's undo. I think I'm actually going to play this. Cycle. So I could go get songs right now, but that feels not great. They're on Blitz, they could kill me from this spot. Cycle again. Alright, if you kill me, you kill me. I, I, I thought to myself, if I hit Songs of the Dam there, maybe I'll go for it. I didn't. And it is in fact Blitz. Okay, so I could be dead. The Street Race Cycles I knew were dangerous. Yep, that's lethal, I believe. Ooh. They're on a different list. Maybe this isn't the build that I thought. I mean, it had Teamer Battle Rage. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to board like this is normal. Uh, the list that I've seen of the... Is it Prowess deck? Let me bring that up for you, by the way. They did not have Fire Blast in them, unless they've changed recently. Like, this is the normal build. There's no Fire Blast in this. So there's Teamer Battle Rage. There's... Manamorphose, there is Lightning Bolt, but no Fire Blast. Uh, let's look at this build. No Fire Blast. So this could just be like the burn hybrid we faced in round one. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, but once again, you'll see there's no Fire Blast in any of these lists. So I'm not sure what exactly I should be doing here, but I'm going to board like it's the normal build. So... I mean, do I want to? What if we did a hybrid plan? Something like this. Board out one scob, and then a couple copies of Architect. Yeah, let's try this out. On the play. Sure thing. All right, Swamp. I'm going to be lazy in main phase cycle past the turn. It's worth noting that my opponent actually did me an extra 5 damage that game, so the main phase street rate stuff didn't matter. There's a main phase crash through. Okay. I mean, there's just more information. Pass. And they are on Kiln Fiend. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, that means that I wanted to board in all four copies of Snuff Out. A lot of three rates here. Cycle. Dark Ritual. Cycle. Want a blue source. Cycle. Songs of the Damned. Cycle. And again... And again, there's a blue source, okay. And another. Cycle this. 
Let's play the... Well, if I go get songs, it makes 14 mana. Maybe that's the better play. Go grab this. Make 14. And then I'm going to cast the ploy here. Discard the Ash Barons. Cycle. Cycle. Woo, I think we just won. Lotus Petal, Songs of the Damned, Flashback Teachings. Nice turn three we have here. Let's go grab Reaping the Graves from 10. Return some Street Wraiths. And then some more Stingers. And then some random other creatures. Love it. Cycle. I am not going to show them snuff out. No reason to do that. And they conceded. Okay, so we're going into game three sideboarding. I'm interested in all four copies of snuff out now. I think we can probably board out a ploy. This isn't actually burn. So... They have Fire Blast in there, but I think we're just mostly concerned about not losing to a giant creature. So I need one more cut. Um, and I think I'm going to do Petal, even though Petal helps with speed. It's tough. It's Petal versus one Architect. I'd be going down to 22 creatures. I'm going to do a Lotus Petal, I think. Just rely on Snuff Out slowing them down. Can I keep that? Sure. We'll bottom the Lotus Petal. Let's go. Mountain into Swift Spear. Yep. Draw. Pass the turn. Songs was a fine draw. Swift Spear. Crash through. So this looks like a game where Snuff Out might actually not be that good due to them having double uh, creature. But we'll see how it plays out. So we're going to take 4 down to 15. They have 3 cards. Cycle. Did not need land 4. Pass the turn. 4 cards in hand. They're attacking for at least 2. Lava Dart. Okay, so we're taking a bunch of damage here. Oh no. So we're going to... I mean, this could actually just be lethal. And they are representing lethal, so... We will cycle a Stinger. Cycle a Street Wraith. We have to cast Songs. Cycle. Cycle the Stinger. I can snuff out, but I'm going to go to one. And they still have a Lava Dart in the graveyard. So I could hard cast it. That would keep me alive, but I'm pretty sure I'm just dead here. Oh, jeez. I have to make the play that keeps me alive. Hard cast snuff out. Okay. Cycle the Vantasaur. Cycle. Pass the turn. So they're attacking for at least one. They do have a Lava Dart. Ah, okay, so I'm dead. Bummer. Okay, I mean, I got the matchup I asked for. I wasn't necessarily the build that's that are on goldfish the, their build did have fire blast so it's a little bit more aggressive but i got the matchup and i still lost so that's sort of a bummer i'm still very 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 interested in snuff out that said if you don't want to play a list without green due to me losing to red toys i hear you i've come up with this list as i talked about in the middle of one of the rounds if we look at the salt high build 
Uh, that's not the right one. So this is a 16 card cyborg. You have to find a cut. So it's probably flaring pain in my opinion. I, th I do think you want triple snuff out for this matchup. Uh, unfortunately, they happen to have double creature here and it sort of just got me. But I think snuff out's really where you want to be in the matchup. I'm not a big fan of this. It's tough because I presented snuff out as being the answer and obviously I lost the red twice. I understand, but I still think it's the correct move moving forward. Even if you disagree with me, that's fine. No hard feelings. I appreciate you watching this. I really do. Thanks for watching and keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.